Propel Jr., good morning. We're so glad you could join us for week two of Confetti Time. As you can see, we got the room decorated like a party, and we're so excited that you could join us right here for our big party talking about Jesus today. so fun in this basket. Can you guess what it is? Those are great guesses. It's confetti. I'm throwing confetti every time I see someone love like Jesus. One time, Zoe let someone else go first for the slide, even though it was her turn. Zoe loved like Jesus. Then, Luca's brother bumped his knee. Ouch. But then, Luca shared his favorite snacks with his brother to cheer him up. Luca loved like Jesus. And last night, I was supposed to clean my room. It was so messy, I didn't know where to start. And my mom came and helped me. My mom loved like Jesus. It's fun to love like Jesus. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Hayden. Who? Who? Tossing lots of confetti, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I'm throwing confetti every time I see someone love like Jesus. Loving like Jesus is important. It's true. Jesus shows us so many ways to love. 
Ho! Ho! Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ho! Ho! Follow me through. Follow me through. Ho! I've got a Bible story for me and you. Hello, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman, and I am so glad to see you. I can't wait to show you this. Every day, I deliver mail to other people. But look what came in my mailbox today. It's from my friend Sarah. I wasn't feeling well last week, and she drew me a picture. That was so kind of her. It made me smile. Sarah loved like Jesus. That reminds me of another way that we can love like Jesus. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Okay, so this true story from the Bible begins with a woman. The woman had been sick for a long, long time. She had gone to so many doctors, but no one could heal her. The woman was so sad. One day, Jesus came to town. She had heard Jesus could make sick people better. And she thought that maybe, just maybe, if she touched his clothes, she would be healed. She didn't know if she would be able to get to Jesus, but she decided to try. So she moved her way through the crowd. See if you can find her. There she is. Now she's gone again. Does anyone see her? Look, she's so close to Jesus now. Then, she reached out and touched his clothes. And just like that, she was healed. She felt so much better. But then Jesus turned around and said, who touched my clothes? Uh-oh, the woman thought, am I going to be in trouble? I didn't ask if I could touch his clothes. So she went to Jesus and said, it was me. I touched your clothes. What do you think Jesus did? Did he stomp his feet and get mad and use mean words? No. Jesus was gentle and kind. Jesus loved the woman and told her that she was all better. <laughs> Jesus loved the woman by using kind words. That's how we can love people too. We can use kind words and be gentle with our friends. We can love like Jesus. Oh, hi, Ollie. Tell me, who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. That's the truth, friends. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus was gentle and loved the woman. And we can be gentle and love like Jesus, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Jesus shows us so many ways that we can love others like he does. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. That makes me think of Miss Kathy Sue. She's been sick with the cold all week. I'm gonna make her a get well card. Oh wait, that's loving like Jesus. See you next time. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17.